Performance Acceleration is about how do I as a team leader get more performance out of you, the team member. That is a daily, weekly, ongoing challenge. I've got to get some sort of tool that enables me to do that better or I won't use it at all. But the thing to remember about that is that the, the frequency with which I use it, it's an every day, every week thing. For those of us in HR that use tools, when we look at adoption statistics, when we look at usage, our measure has been, well, we've got something we ask people to use once a year. So we're then, we'll get sort of happy when somebody's using it twice a year. Or maybe even, God forbid, once a month. And we're like, oh, they're using it once a month. Uh, and you realize we are excited by that because our frame of reference is once a year. We need to ditch that. If you're using a tool once a month to get more performance, it's not working. It's just not working. It's sort of useless. Because in the real world of performance, I'm working with you this week on stuff for this week. Once a month, you suffer from the recency effect. I suffer from the recency effect. We can't even remember two weeks ago. Once a month is a waste of time. We have shed loads of data that show if you're talking to somebody once a month, their engagement goes down, their performance goes down, they're more likely to voluntarily turn over. So we've got to flip our understanding of what usage statistics should look like. If you're putting in place a tool that is not being used by your team leaders and team members at least once a week, then it will be doing nothing to accelerate performance. That's our new frame of reference. At least once a week. Otherwise, it's a waste. Framed another way, it means if you're not using it at least once a week, it's not for the team leader and the team member. It's for HR. And if we're not super careful, then we just built another tool for us. Okay, don't do that. At least don't do that and expect to have any kind of respect from the CEO. Because the CEO's problem is not, how do I build more tools for HR? The CEO's problem is, how do I get more performance between a team leader and a team member? We get that right, now all of a sudden we understand what our use of statistics should look like, or what our adoption statistics should look like. It's a minimum once a week, or it's not working. Period.